Okay, this is going to be a quick one-shot video about adding seasonal or event-based content to your game. There's two basic types. One, which we're going to look at, is going to be adding models. So, like, say, Christmas trees or adding pumpkins. The other type would be if you actually have new functionality, like maybe you're adding mini games based on the event. We're not going to look at that because that is too closely... Um, integrated with the type of game that you're making. So depending on the type of game you're making depends on the kind of mini games and things you can add to it. So we're just purely looking at more decorative things in this um, tutorial. So if there's more you want to see, just let me know. But uh, pretty, pretty much I think one video will cover it. And the main gist is that you are going to have an object be displayed based on date. Now, uh, some games that are constantly being updated, like MMOs and things like that, they probably actually just patch the game, put out a new build, and uh, it makes the content go live. But say you make a game that isn't going to be supported 10 years from now, but is still playable. So something you put out on Steam or wherever, and someone is going to play it you know, five years from now, and you still want it to have like a holiday content, what you can do is you can have the game be designed to look at the system date and based on the system date that the game is running on, it says, okay, it's between a range of dates, display this. It's between a different range of dates, then display these other objects. So let's take a look at how to do that. So game object, create empty, and we're going to make a GM object. More than likely, your scenes are going to have GM objects already. There's really nothing magical about calling it GM. That just lets you, the designer, know what you're going to use this for. Go ahead and create C Shop script, and we'll call it seasonal. And what this is going to do is this is going to be used to, as I said, um, look at the system date and then make a decision as to whether or not uh, objects will be displayed based on that date. So let's take this table and chair object and put it into the scene. We're going to have two different things happen. Depending on date, we're going to have a pumpkin appear or we're going to have a tree appear. So, now since we're not actually in either holiday season at the moment, I'm going to use today's date, okay? But obviously it's easy enough to change it from looking at today's date to looking at um, a, a certain date range such as in October or in December. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it aware of the two objects. So, public, transform, capital T, and we're going to call it pumpkin obj public transform tree obj now what we do is if we go back to our gm object you'll now see whoops sorry no we won't we need to attach the script to it now you'll see the pumpkin and tree object. So let's take our tree and go to tree object. Let's take our pumpkin and go to pumpkin object. And don't worry about all these other things you're seeing. It's just I downloaded some assets from the store and then made some modifications. So don't worry. Uh, it's not going to impact um, what we're doing here. It's really just one or two lines of code that make all the difference. So don't worry about the various models and materials you see. Okay, so now, because we did this, the GM object is aware of the pumpkin and the tree. So now what we do is in the start section, if system dot date time dot today parenthesis sorry dot to string parenthesis quote and it's going to auto populate even though we don't want it to so we're going to have to tweak it okay so we want it to be capital mm for month d dash dd for day so capital mm dash dd so we're looking at just month and day because when you think about it you're not looking at year so uh, Halloween's already the 31st, Christmas is already the 25th. Um, you know, holidays that are based on an exact date, 
you can use this. You don't, you're not concerned about the year. Equals equals, and we'll use today's date. So 08 dash 06. So if, and, and this is really self-explanatory, which is why I really didn't go in depth, but you're, you're taking system information, specifically it's the date and time, well, it's today, and you're going to convert it into a string. And then this just formats it for you. If you've done anything with Excel, you've probably seen this kind of formatting before. So if it's equals to 0806, then we want something to happen. We want to instantiate pumpkin object. So that's what we want to instantiate. Where do we want to instantiate it? We'll use its default position. Pumpkin object dot position, and we'll use its default rotation. So pumpkin object dot rotation. So that that should do it actually. Uh, so the script is attached to the GM object, and in the start section, we query the system to find out what the month and day is. And if it's equal to a certain value, we're using today's date, then we want an object to be instantiated. And there it is. Now, if you want to confirm that, that it's really working, you can just change this to not be today's date. And there you go, it's no longer there. Okay, so similarly, let's just remark this out. Say uh, it's actually Christmas that you're looking at. So in that case, you want the tree OBJ to be instantiated at tree OBJ's position and tree obj's rotation and for the moment we'll leave it as tomorrow's date 8 7 and we'll run it sure enough you do not see a tree because today is not the seventh so let's change this to today's date And there's your tree. So it's that easy. It's that easy to create content, uh, well, to display the content. It obviously takes time to create the tree. Someone actually has to make the tree. Someone have to, has to uh, make the pumpkin. So one want to clarify, these are all pre-existing um, models. So obviously someone took the time to make them. This is just how you make the decision if they get displayed. Now, for demonstrative purposes, we're checking to see if this is today's date. Well, if it's holiday, you wouldn't. You would be checking to see if it's that holiday's date. So 12-25 uh, or 10-31. If you want it to be a range, that's easy enough. You could just do a bunch of ors. You can say is equal to 08.06 uh, or 08.07 or 08.08. .08. Same thing for the holidays. You could do uh, is equal to 12-23 or 12-24 or 12-25. So you can do a range of values that you're checking for. And then you just instantiate the corresponding object. So again, this is really just the decorations. This is just displaying models. It's really not any new functionality as far as adding like um, mini games. You know, like for instance, it's the Olympics and you're adding a racing mini game. Well, clearly that takes a lot more effort. But like I said, this is nice because uh, if your game is just a standalone game that doesn't need uh, regular support. It's just something that's going to be on Steam or wherever. Um, you can still have it be altered uh, for holiday seasons uh, based on uh, the system date. So I think that should about do it. If you want to see anything uh, else concerning this topic, just let me know.